So today we are going to be talking about organisation and motivation for doing your school or uni work. My motivation and organisation could have turned out very differently this year if we had clubs and bars open, I won't lie. Because last year I did absolutely nothing, I am ashamed to say. For me it has been the best situation for my grades this year. So just take that into account, I don't want to come across as this like perfect person that always does their work. No one probably sees me as that anyway. But yeah, basically, Corona has been on my side in terms of my grades. Anyway, let's just jump right in. First tip, a regular sleep schedule. I know I need nine hours sleep. I am not gonna be productive if I get under that. I think for me, sleep is the number one thing for motivation. I will not be able to focus if I'm sleep deprived. When I was doing my exams, I actually had a nap every single day. If you feel tired in the day, I would honestly recommend this because as soon as I woke up, I was really productive. But honestly, sorting your sleep schedule out will be the best thing you ever do. It will just improve your motivation, improve your quality of work. Honestly, highly recommend. The next thing you wanna do is plan your day the night before. You wanna have your day set out for you, your whole schedule before you even start the day. As soon as you wake up and you have the option to do anything, that is just where it all goes wrong for me. So I'd really recommend making a list of all the things you need to do and the time it'll take to do each one, for example, an hour, two hours. Then put them in order of priority and assign a time in the day to each task. So you've got 8.30, wake up, nine o'clock, have breakfast. Also make sure you have a top one or two things that you need to do, even if you have like a really unproductive day and don't get anything done really. You wanna have like one thing that's an absolute must so that you're like forcing yourself to do it. Next tip, get some exercise, move your body around. Like I said, when I was doing my exams, I had a nap every single day. And I was really confused why I was so tired because I had like at least nine hours sleep every night. And it was because I was just sitting in my bed or at my desk all day and not moving about. I always thought that exercise would make me more tired in the day, but it actually makes me more energized and it actually makes me more productive. So I'd really recommend. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, even just like a 15 minute walk so good and also I think getting out in the fresh air like really helps. Motivation is a hard thing but honestly I just think it's something you have to create for yourself and the best advice I have is to just start. Most things you need to do seem so daunting but once you actually break it down and just get going it's honestly fine. Some ways that you can force yourself to just start are get up from your bed and get to your desk. I think sometimes just a change of scenery is so good. Another thing you can do if you're watching Netflix or YouTube videos lying in bed, just switch to an educational video and it might get you in the mood for learning. Or if you're lying in bed watching Netflix, just put your lecture on. Just click off your TV show and start playing your lecture. Even if you've not got your notes in front of you, you're not ready to start, just go for it. There's so many times I've woken up at 9.14 ready for a 9.15 lecture and I don't wanna do it, but I just start playing the lecture on my phone whilst I'm still in bed, half asleep. And sometimes just hearing it play, I'm like, oh, well, I might as well get up and write notes for it. But, you know, it doesn't always work. And the last thing you can do to force yourself to get going is to write a to-do list. I feel like to-do lists are false work in the sense that we feel like we're being productive, writing down all the things you need to do, but you're not actually doing anything. But it might just get you in the mood to start working, you never know. Get yourself dressed, even if it is just a fresh pair of pajamas. I honestly live in my lounge where I just get up and change out of my pajamas into a new pair. But it's just that process of getting ready for the day that just helps me feel more motivated even if it's like washing my face, brushing my hair. It's just like that little routine, even if it's like five minutes and you're like ready for the day instead of ready to get back into bed. When you sit down and start a task, make sure you've got no distractions. You wanna have taken care of everything before you even start a task. So this means having a snack, having a meal, filling up your water bottle, putting your phone away. Just make sure everything's taken care of so you don't like sit down and start and then you're like, oh, I need to fill up my water, I need to get a drink, I get a snack. I find that having like big nourishing meals really helps because first of all, I think eating healthy just makes me work better. Also, I get so distracted by food. I will literally have a snack every like 10 minutes. So if I've had a big meal and I'm like really full and then I start working, I'll be less distracted. I've got an app recommendation for everyone. It is Flora, I'm sure you've all heard of it, but I honestly rate it so much. You basically set a time of how long you wanna focus for. For example, I usually do the Pomodoro method, which is 25 minutes focus 
and then five minute break and then just keep repeating and then have a longer break after you've done that like four times. And whilst you're focusing on flora, it, you cannot go off that screen or your tree dies. So it's just a great way to keep you off social media, off your phone. Um, which is obviously the biggest distraction for all of us. I think this is really useful for me because for example 25 minutes doesn't seem that long to me I'm just like yeah I can focus for 25 minutes and then I'll get a break and I think it's really good to schedule your breaks or like know when you're gonna have a break because say if you've been working for 10 minutes and you don't know when your break is gonna be and you know you're working the whole day you're more likely to just be like oh I'll just take it now even though you've done no work. I think it's really useful to have those like short bursts of okay I need to focus and then I, at the end I get like a reward or a break. And if worse comes to worse, you have nothing else to keep you motivated, visualize yourself failing and then doing really well in the exam. I find it really useful to think about how I'm gonna feel if I do really shit in that piece of work, especially when you know you're more than capable of doing really well in that exam or piece of work, but you just can't be bothered or can't find the motivation to do it. You're just gonna feel the worst if you don't put the effort in. So visualize yourself failing, but also don't spend too much time doing that. For all the time you're visualizing yourself failing, visualize yourself winning and like doing really well because you don't wanna like manifest feeling you know and yeah that is all the tips I have for you guys thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video